Hi everyone. So let's do some exercises to learn some NumPy mathematical functions. In this case, aggregations like min, max, and other summary statistics. Um, so what I have is a Python notebook open right now. You can download yours if you wanna follow along with me in the link below. So I have two notebooks. One is an empty notebook with just the questions, just like you see right now. Uh, I also have a solutions notebook with all the code just basically coded up. There's also a data set that we're gonna be using in this, this notebook. So the link to the data set for you to download it is also in the description below, um, as well as my lecture on you know, this particular topic. So the best way to kind of learn, I think, is to watch the lecture first to understand like how these functions work. Then open up the exercise notebook without the solutions, try to do it yourself, and then open up the solutions notebook just to see whether or not you got the answers correct. All right, so let's get started uh, with some of these questions. So what we're going to do first is um, I'm assuming that you've already imported NumPy's, but if not, always just import NumPy as NP, execute this line of code. Um, and what we want to do right now is just create um, basically a really big array. And so this big array is going to be saved in this variable called big data. And we want to create or we want to print out and identify the min and max values of this large array. And so how do we do that? Right. So maybe one way to do that is use the min and max functions in NumPy. And so if I want to find the min, uh, the minimum, we will use NP min, which is the min function and call the uh, variable or the array that I'm trying to find uh, the minimum uh, value of. So that's big data right here. So if I execute on that, I get that, uh, which is, I think, probably right. It's very, very close to zero. Um, and, and this random dot rand function basically creates values from between zero and one. So that just means that might mean that the max value should be close to one. And so if I take the max using the max function called big data in and it's 0.9999, very, very close to one. And I think that's right. And so if I ne next want to print the sum of the elements, so just sum everything up, we can call the sum function. So this is relatively easy. And it's basically close to 500,000 which is what I think is right because if you are generating values between zero and one uh, randomly uh, and then you add it all together, it should be about, it should fall between like close to like half, right? So um, if it's a million between zero and one, million elements between zero and one, it should be around 500,000. And that's what we see as the sum, all right? And so, you know, I've, I've said this before, but I don't necessarily memorize all of the functions, but uh, the common ones I do memorize, the ones I use a lot. But if I don't remember what the functions, uh, what the function is, what the syntax is, I'll just open up the NumPy documentation and try to take a look at, uh, you know, what that function syntax looks like. Or I'll go to Stack Overflow and um, just type in the question that I have and I usually will get the answer. So now let's do some exercises uh, using multi-dimensional arrays. Uh, we're going to create an array here. It's going to be three by four, just like you see here. Um, what we can do is print the sum of basically all of the elements in, in this array. And that's relatively easy. It's just like what we did above. Uh, so we take the X array and we just tack on the sum function to the right of it. And that's what um, that's the sum of the entire array. So all 12 elements added together is 5.4714. All right. And so next is finding the minimum value of each column. So if I look at this array up here, I'm just trying to find the minimum value of the first column, minimum value of the second column and so forth. So I should get an array of four elements because there are four columns. So how do I do that? Well, I need to use the access parameter to do that. 
So x.min will first give me the minimum values, uh, minimum value of the entire array. So if I execute on this, it will give me one number. And this is the smallest value in this uh, three by four array. So that's not what we want. And so if I add this parameter in, access equals zero, zero for columns, I get four elements, four values. And so let's just double check. So if I look at this first column, this last row is the last is the minimum value, and that's exactly what I get here. So that's gonna be true for two column two, three, and four. So now let's print the maximum value for uh, each row in X. There are three rows, so I should get three numbers back. So just X dot max for maximum, and then because it's a row, we want access equal to one, and then we get three numbers back. So let's take a look at the original array. We're gonna take a look at this first row here the largest number is 0.99 out of these four values, and that's what we get here. And that will be true for row two and three. So here's just a list of all the other functions you could use to just do some summary statistics or other aggregate functions. Uh, so if you don't wanna look at the NumPy documentation or go on Stack Overflow, you can come here, save this notebook, and refer to this list here. So what we're gonna do next now is we're gonna use a real, um, a real data set, uh, the height of the US presidents, and we're gonna import that into this Python notebook and do some summary statistics on it. And so really it's to showcase how simple it is to do that in Python. And uh, in order to do that, we are gonna first import the pandas um, library, PD. And all this code is written out, so if you download the Python notebook, It'll all be written out for you. Also, download the the data set president heights uh, .csv. And so, what we're gonna do first is we can't run this line of code yet because I'm using Google Colabs and it's located uh, on a Google server, which means that I need to import my CSV file to the Google server. Fortunately, Google makes this really easy. There's this left-hand uh, nav bar here. I'm gonna click on the third icon that looks like a folder. And then I'm gonna click on Upload. I'm gonna find the, the uh, data set that I am interested in. And so Present Heights, I'm gonna OK out of this. And so I have it here, right? So it is now in uh, basically on the, on the Google server that's running my Python notebook. If I wanted to just make sure that it's there, I'm gonna create this um, new code block, bring it up, type in this Unix command LX, and I see president heights here. So now I can just execute this. So now the entire data set, president heights.csv is saved into a variable called heights, and I'm gonna use this function head it's a pandas function to look at the first five rows. So there are three columns in this CSV file. It's ID, name, and the height of each president. And now what next, what I want is, I actually just am interested in the raw height numbers in these values here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to call uh, just the height, height column here and then grab just the values and save it into the heights variable. So I'm just gonna overwrite uh, the, the data set and overwrite it with just the raw numbers, all right? And so then I'm gonna print it out. And that's what I get. I get basically all the presents and all of the heights saved in this, in this uh, variable called heights. So if you don't know pandas very well, that's completely fine. Everything is basically written out for you so that we can uh, we don't have to worry about it and we can concentrate on just learning um, these aggregate and uh, aggregate numpy functions. So given this, uh, these values, these height values, can we now calculate the mean and standard deviation? So really like what are the functions to calculate that? 
So that's pretty easy. Let's just do the mean first. So the height, like I said, the heights is the variable. Uh, to find the mean, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, just call the mean function. And then to do the standard deviation, uh, same thing, it's just the heights uh, variable and the STD for standard deviation function will give me the standard deviation of all the height values. So that's, that's great. Um, next, what we wanna do is output and calculate a five number summary. So like basically what a lot of, when, when you're first looking into a data set, you want to you know, perform a lot of these, these aggregations so that you understand what the data kind of behaves like and, and look like. So one common summary is called the five number summary where you are outputting the minimum value, 25th percentile, median, and then the 75th, and then the maximum value. So let's just calculate that. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna actually calculate the whole thing all at once in five print statements. And I'll try to format it as best I can. So the minimum value here, and I want to format it really well. And so you'll you'll see what it looks like at, at the very end and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, but to get the minimum, you just use the minimum function and put in the variable that you're interested in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste below. I want the 25th percentile now. So 25th, 25th percentile. I'll do is format it to my liking. And so to get the 25th percentile, we're gonna use the percentile function here. And then it's gonna be on the heights variable, but I need to say that I want the 25th percentile. So we just added 25 as the second parameter. So now we want the median. You could easily just do this, the 50th per percentile, but NumPy actually has a median function called median. So we're just gonna use that, all right? And now if I want the 75th percentile, I'm just gonna copy from the second line and change every two to a seven, right? And then if I want to get the max, I'll copy the first line of code which finds the minimum and I'm just gonna replace minimum with maximum. Save me as many keystrokes as possible. So now I have all five and I'm gonna execute that and I have a really nicely formatted summary. And that's kind of what I wanna get at, especially with these uh, Python notebooks that where you can actually have text like up here and then code down here and then the output here, you can guide your stakeholder uh, through your analysis and have really nice visuals or really nice tables for like, you know, stakeholders that are maybe non-technical to take a look at and still understand what's going on. Next, what we want to utilize is uh, matplotlib, which is a library that helps us visualize data. So we are going to import matplotlib and then also import Seaborn, which just makes things look a little bit nicer than the, visu the default visuals that matplotlib gives us. So what we wanna do is uh, make a box plot of the heights and then um, you know, create a, um, basically create the title and um, the Y axis for the labels. So how do we do that? Well. I'll show you, but you can read the matplotlib uh, documentation to figure out what function you would need for the box plot, or you can go on Stack Overflow uh, and figure that out yourself. Uh, but here, what we what we could do is, because we have the heights um, variable already made, we'll just use the box plot function, so plt, uh, to call the matplotlib library and the box plot function to plot all the heights in um, the variable heights. So this is really easy. And now if I want the, uh, to put a title, I can just do plt title 
the title function and let's just call this five number summary of US presidents. So you see what happened here, president's heights. Because I'm using um, quotes here to say that this is a string and turning all the text red, if I have an apostrophe for presidents, it's gonna think that I'm done with the title, right? And that's not the case. So in order to get around this problem, a common solution is just to add this symbol, um, a backslash, and then add the add the quote, the single quote where I really want to end the, the title. And so that should solve the problem right there. Next, I'm gonna add the Y label, plt.ylabel. And then I'm gonna just, because we know that the heights are all in centimeter, we're just gonna label this a CM for heights, all right? So if I execute this line of code, I should get a single box plot. Whoops, I forgot to, to execute this top and then execute this line of code. And then that's what I get. I get this title that says five number summary of US president's heights. Um, the Y axis is labeled height centimeters. And then uh, I have this box plot of basically the, the min, the 25 uh, percentile, the median, the 75th percentile and the maximum all in one visual. All right, so that's it for uh, NumPy aggregations. There's a little bit of pandas in there and a little bit of a matplotlib.